Hey, get a rhythm When you get the blues Come on and get a rhythm When you get the blues Get a rock and roll feeling in your bones Get taps on your toes and get you gone Get a rhythm When you get the blues This is George Fodonakis and I have a little project for you to do right here and for you dads and grandpas and maybe even some grandmas and moms if you are a little handy with tools this is a great little project I've got about twelve dollars into it um, take a look it's a little hobby horse and uh, it's built like a truck you can bang this around from now on and it's going to hold up and you can see I've got it attached to a little tiny broom here that I got from Home Depot. So I'm going to give you instructions on how to make one of these. You can do it on a Saturday afternoon and surprise someone with it and it'll be a real special treat for them. Hope you enjoy building one of these. Let's go over the materials you'll need before we get started with this project. This is a piece of 2 by 10 fir lumber. You could probably use 3 quarter inch pine and glue two pieces together. You might be able to pick some of this up at a job site somewhere, a construction site near you, or find some scraps somewhere else. Or Sometimes they even give you end cuts at places uh, where they're selling 16-footers if you buy a couple of feet at the end. This here little broom I got at Home Depot, it's a, about a 36-inch handle. It has a swivel in it, and that's nice because the swivel can still swivel after this section is glued in here and the, the child can adjust it anywhere they want. This is three quarter inch doweling. I got enough for two horses for 98 cents, so this is about 50 cents worth of material. Home Depot also sells these little bumpers that go over the end. Then we have these little eyeballs that flop around, and those can be purchased at a store like Hobby Lobby. This here, my wife's purse had to sacrifice its life for this job. So you could probably go to Goodwill and buy an old leather purse or find one in the closet. And uh, it's real easy to make that cut on there and make it look real nice. And finally, you'll need a few of upholstery tacks that you can get from Home Depot also. So let's go into the construction of this now that you know the materials. Now let's take a look at some of the tools you'll need. I hope you don't mind if Hokey and Pokey watch while we're doing this activity. Um, there's the poor man's way of doing this. And then if you can afford and have the tools, there's the faster, easier way to do it. You'll need um, an electric drill. A drill press works even better. You can use either a three-quarter inch spade bit or I prefer using a three-quarter inch Forstner bit. If you have a router, you can use a quarter round router bit to round the edges. And if you have saber saw, you can use this jigsaw for cutting out the horse's head. Now, if you don't have the jigsaw, you don't have the router, you can do it the old-fashioned way with a hand coping saw and then after you're done cutting out the head you can use a Nicholson 4-in-1 file and you can use this to clean up your edges all the way around and if you have the patience and some sandpaper with this file you can make all the edges round. So we'll go back now that you know what you need and take a look at what you have to do. Now, in making this to this little horsey, first thing I did is went on Google Images for horse patterns, and I looked at some, and then I cut out a paper pattern. And after I cut that paper pattern out, I just glued it right on here, or you can pencil around it. I cut out the shape of the horse's head. After the shape was finished, I set it down, and using that quarter-inch router, I routered around the edge of the horse, making a nice, rounded, smooth edge. After doing that, right here I took the Forstner bit and went all the way through with that drill cut, making sure to put scrap underneath on the back side so it wouldn't explode out on the back side. I also 
drilled into here with a spade bit large enough to accept this broom handle. And then finally I took this Forstner bit and drilled right in here to make a little inset that I could glue the eyeball into. That's not necessary, but it might hold up a lot better if you do that. That being finished, I sanded it really nicely and put a few coats of urethane on it, clear urethane, to protect it. And then let me get it in position. Let's take a look at how we do the horse's mane. This is made out of genuine leather from a purse. I cut a rectangle long enough to get to the center of the forehead here, cut fringe all the way around it, and then right here you can see I cut another rectangle about three inches long and then cut it semi-round in the front over the forehead, cutting fringe again there. When that's done, simply placing two upholstery tacks here and here, that holds the front hair over the forehead and then when I spin this around, you can see upholstery tacks down the middle. And then we can see that the fringe is held in place there. On the side, I took some more leather, spun it into a cone, and added two upholstery tacks here to give it that permanent look of an ear standing on end. And you can see he has some nice flopping of the mane when he's running around. Now, to add a little extra excitement before you hand this to your grandchild or your child, let them watch a couple times uh, Toy Story and see those little hobby horses running around. They'll get extra charged up before they get these. I hope you enjoyed watching this and give it a try. And if you have good luck, let me know. Thank you for watching. Hey, get a rhythm. When you get the blues, come on and get a rhythm. When you get the blues, get a rock and roll feeling in your bones. Get taps on your toes and get you gone, get a rhythm.